there will appear a great white throne upon which is seated a judge that's not named, but we know elsewhere in the text that the judge is God himself. Earth and sky, it says, will flee from his presence. No place will be found for them. And as part of the sinful created order, creation is judged prior to the creation of a new heaven and a new earth. And the sea and death and Hades will give up their dead. These that rise in what is referred to as the second resurrection now will bring every human being that has ever lived since Adam before the great white throne. Those who have been outside of Christ because they, they will be found wanting because every evil thought and every evil deed is written in that set of books. And so every human creature will stand before God hanging in the balance, found guilty before the righteous one. But thank God for that other set of books. Those who have trusted and put the blood of the lamb on the doorpost of their house, their names have been written in the book of life and will be entered and welcomed into eternal life. Daniel said that everyone will rise at the end of the age, some to everlasting life and others to shame and everlasting contempt. There is a day of reckoning coming. And this could be the last day. This could be the last day that those who are listening to this DVD and those in this room, this could be your last final moment of decision. Where will you be on that day? And if that day is put out into the future, should God grant you longer life, what quality of life will you leave? Because eternal life can begin right now to live the kind of quality of life that we've always dreamed about. But it's not just one wonderful in, in, in all these. It, it's, it's joy in the midst of tremendous trial and pain, an ability to, to maintain a long obedience in the same direction. The holy city, the new Jerusalem, will come out of heaven and be given to God's people as an eternal gift. There will be a testing of each of the sheep's kingdom works. After the separation of the sheep and the goats, those who have trusted in Christ, their works will be weighed. And so it's not just about being with God forever, because what we have done in this life will count for eternity. Paul said that our works will be weighed or tested on that day in 1 Corinthians 3. And some of our works will be called gold, silver, and precious stones. In other works will be called wood, hay, and stubble and will not burn up. It is possible to go into heaven and spend eternal life with Jesus and have the smell of smoke on our clothes, having barely made it. And I want to be able to say at the end of the age, I want to be able to hear the words, well done, my good and faithful servant. I want crowns in heaven. I want my works to be weighed and found them to be gold and silver and precious stones. And that's what makes me go. And that's why I'm doing this. And that's why I'm talking to you and making this DVD and trying to expend my life because I want that to be the greatest day of your life, to hear the words, well done, my good and faithful servant, and to be rewarded richly in the time of eternal life. And the holy city, the new Jerusalem, will come out of heaven and be given to God's people then as eternal gift. And God will completely fulfill the three-part formula of the Old Testament. John says, now the dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and will be their God. And he will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. And the throne of God and the Lamb will be in the city, and his servants will serve him, and they will see his face and his name will be on their foreheads. There is no longer an inner court. There's no longer an outer court. All that exists is the Holy of Holies. The Garden of Eden is now expand to fill the whole universe. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun, for the Lord himself will be their light, and they will reign for, with him forever and ever. As it says in Isaiah chapter 46, verses 10 and 11, I will make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times what is still to come, my purpose will stand, and I will do all that I please. And nothing's going to stop it. This is the great plan of God. 